Well, when you think of the Renaissance Festival, you might think of knights and dragons, but what about mermaids? That's what Paula Tupman was thinking. Yeah, she that's said, right. She said, I have got to figure this out. Sign me up. She's live at the Michigan <laughs> Renaissance Festival in Holly with these mer people. Oh. Paula, they are fantastic. Shello! That is the greeting you are likely to hear when you make your way to Mermaid Cove here at the Renaissance Festival. And I am with Mermaid JC. It's 55 degrees, but you're a Canadian. You're a Canadian mermaid. Yes. I want to talk about the athleticism it takes to be a mermaid. That is a really special part of our job. Uh, most of us actually come from free diving, scuba diving, uh, some type of acrobatic background or dance background. So we didn't just come into this with nothing. We came into this with a lot of athletic experience. One of the things I've been so fascinated about is that it's, it's not just about performing. There are mermaids, by the way, folks, in every single state in the nation and around the globe as well. But this is a community. Yeah, we connect a lot online. So we have online forums on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and, well, Finstagram is what we call it. Finstagram. <laughs> now, I'm with the reigning mer, uh, uh, mer majesty. Yeah. Mer majesty, <laughs> the reigning sea so queen. Dope. I know, <laughs> the reigning sea queen of Canada. But you're also an instructor because this is more than a notion. It's more than donning a tail. And by the way, folks, I just want you to take a look at this. Can you, I, I want you to see this tank. So this is a mini tank. These mermaids actually live part of their lives in water. You go in lakes, ponds, the ocean, huge aquariums. Let's talk about what it takes to train for this. It's really a sport. A lot of people don't realize how much time and effort and training goes into what we do. We are free divers. We are professionally trained paddy mermaids. I'm a paddy mermaid instructor and so is JC. And we teach people how to safely and properly be able to swim in mermaid tails. And, and, and it's more than a notion because it can be very, very dangerous. I mean, you're swimming in a tail, and even though you are mermaids, that takes very specific training. I, I know, I hear, no dead mermaids, right? Yes, so our biggest thing is safety. We want you to be happy, safe, and comfortable in the water, and those are the three things that we strive for to ensure that everyone feels those three things whenever they are in the water. There's so much that we can talk about here because not only are you part of this growing community, and it's so inclusive, but you also have missions. And you have a, I know you're a tropical mermaid, but, and you have a mission. I do, so one of the biggest things for me is water safety and ocean conservation. So it is how, for people to keep themselves safe while in the water and for people to learn how to keep the water safe while they're on land. Oh my gosh, that is so beautifully said. And I also wanna talk a little bit about this growing movement, this growing community of people. And you said people come to it because they are included. Absolutely, you know what? It's something where a lot of people in our community have at one point feel, felt excluded from the community that, that they're in. And coming into our community, they know that without a doubt, they will be accepted with open arms. I love how you guys greet each other. You say, hello, pretty fishies. Hello, <laughs> pretty fishies. We have so much more that we wanna talk about because when you come to the Renaissance Festival and you come to Mermaid Cove, you're actually able to talk to the mermaids. You're able to interact with them. They are growing their community. They're looking for mermaids as well as allies. Yes. Absolutely. We want anyone who wants to come in, um, ocean conservationists. We want people to just have the heart of a mermaid, to have that spirit that. and enjoy this magical thing that we do. I love it. I love it. Looking forward to talking to you some more. Okay, guys, I, I, did I deliver? I've been, oh. I've been so excited about this. You Am I delivering for you? You have delivered. Have oh you my ever God. seen anything like this before? Never. Not like this. No. This is I, something that no, not like this. This is something you see in movies, you see on television, but you're actually able to interact with these folks who actually live part of their lives in the water as actual you know, mermaids. Paula, I love it. I got one question for you. I just want to know how they what keep their breath underwater. They hold their breath underwater for so long and then look so elegant as they're swimming around. I'd be panicking. Yeah, I'd be panicking too. That is part of their training. Wow. That is part of their training. You know what? We'll address that coming up. Love it. We'll talk about that a little bit more coming up in our next segment. How about well, that? There's a tease for That's Paula. That's right. Talking. All right. Thank you, Paula.